Hello. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a subcontracting purchase order, where the customer is going to hire a subcontractor to carry out a service or uh, manufacture or produce the material. So let's get started by going first to logistics, then go to materials management, click on purchasing, click on purchase order, click on create, and then go ahead and select transaction ME21N vendor slash supplying plant known. So let's go ahead and double click on this transaction. Here we have the create purchase order initial screen is displayed. The default type of PO is standard, which is the type we are going to use in this lesson for subcontracting PO. We have also other types of POs as shown in the list here. Um, let's select the header icon to expand the display and it will list the required fields to create the subcontracting PO. Click on the vendor field first and enter 700402 press the enter key. This is the vendor that we are going to use to carry out the service for you. The subcontract or work could be carried out at the customer's premises or the vendor's premises. If the type of work for example is painting for a specific type of material and the job is going to be carried out at the vendor's place then the customer has to issue a subcontract to the vendor and ship the material that needs painting to the vendor's place. Let's enter the purchasing organization and uh, say change it to 3000 press enter key and ask me to enter the currency so I'm gonna put US dollar press enter key again let me go back for the purchasing group but before I enter the purchasing group please keep in mind that purchasing organization is an organizational unit that procures materials or services and negotiate the terms and conditions of the purchase with the vendors. So let's enter the purchase group as 000 for this lesson. A purchase or a group of purchasers in the purchasing organization department responsible for purchasing a type of goods or service. That's what they call the purchasing group. And we're going to keep as the company code 3000. The company code basically represents the organizational unit with set of cost objects for uh, reporting purposes. Click in the item category column. For this lesson the item category is letter L so I'm just gonna go and click on the search icon and choose the letter L for subcontracting. So let's go ahead and double click on it. Click on the search icon to select the specific material from the list and enter star EAR for bearing close with the star press the enter key let's go ahead and select the ball bearing 100-510 double click on it click on the quantity and enter 6 for quantity delivery date let's change it to 0631 2013 for the price I'm gonna enter 100 and the plant field we're going to enter 3000 plant field to specify the plant number where the subcontracting vendor should ship the completed item so let's go ahead and press tab key again storage location click on the storage search, search icon or if you know the storage location you just may go ahead and enter it and we're going to enter for this one zero zero one storage location again uh, is the location where 
you are going to receive the completed item so we have entered storage location as 0001 or the warehouse location let's go ahead and press the enter key make sure the, the material data tab is being selected so the, um, the material data tab is in the item detail and this is to view the sub items or component that required to be forwarded to the subcontracting vendor uh, these components usually are specified in the bill of material BOM and uh, that is related to the main material so let's go ahead and click on the component icon to view the list of the components related to the to the main material the components overview is displayed showing no list of components related to the parent material ball bearing let's go ahead and add the components we're not going to be uh, very precise on each component the idea in this lesson is to show you how to add components to make the parent material that is going to be forwarded to the subcontracting vendor who will make the final product and this is in, in our case here is a ball bearing I have a list of items or components that I'm gonna enter here so I'm gonna start with the first one enter W will use dash 100 and for the quantity required I'm gonna enter 6 and press the enter key SAP automatically display the description of the material I'll enter the next one enter for quantity as 6 again and for the third one I'm gonna enter 400 as 12 and press the enter key after adding the required uh, components uh, if you notice um, we have the material we have the description and we have the quantity required to make each material the requirement date is the date needs these com components to be available in stock so these components can be issued to the vendor to produce the final product which is a ball bearing pro storage location is where the components will be issued out to the vendor and in our case we're going to enter 0001 press the arrow key down again 0001 press the arrow key down again 0001 and press the enter key supposedly we have added the required components let's go click on the back icon let's go ahead now and save our work to save this subcontracting purchase order before forwarding it to the vendor Notice the standard PO has been created under this number. Let's go ahead now and click on the back icon to exit the purchase order screen. And that will conclude uh, our lesson. Uh, you have just learned how to create a subcontracting purchase order. So let's go ahead now and review the quiz questions to find out how much you have learned from this lesson. And if you have any problem, you could go back again, review the material one more time.